So I think every natural has those moments when she just doesn't know what to do with her hair. And this is my moment. So this wash and go was old and I needed to get rid of it. But I wanted to do something new. Like I was over the whole wash and go thing. And straight hair just came out the box like bam. And then I went back like bam. Use my L'Oreal Ever Pure Sofe Freak Shampoo to wash my hair. Then I condition with my Pantene. And then I'm going to deep condition with my hydrating hair mask from Shea Moisture with a bit of heated up grape seed oil. And I just basically mixed that all together. And I made a little grape seed oil and conditioner concoction and used that to deep condition my hair after I had finished washing it. Conditioning your hair is really important because I believe that this is what provides a strong foundation for your hair and makes it less susceptible to problems like breakage and heat damage. And the grapeseed oil also helps because grapeseed oil is a natural heat protector. So I left my hot head deep conditioning cap on for about an hour. You can leave it on for less or more time, whichever you please. But after I took it off, my hair was so soft. That Manuka Hair Honey deep conditioner is amazing. So after that, I just proceeded to rinse that out. And this is my naked hair. It is very moisturized and defined. And feel free to take selfies for the gram because, you know, why not? Ugly ones, you know, all types of selfies. And then rinse yourself off because dripping water is the worst feeling ever. <laughs> but then after that, I just braided my hair up into four big braids to let it air dry some before I start the blow drying process. blow dry my hair I like to brush out the curls that are in there and then I like to use the tension method so I use the tension method for a while until I basically feel like I've got my hair stretched out enough to begin using the comb and then I'll switch over to using the comb and I want to put this in real time The key here is really to go slowly. Um, the quicker you go, you kind of don't get as smooth as a press if you do, if you go slowly. So just run through the strands slow, and then once it, the hair is completely detangled, you can begin to go a little bit faster. Or sing a song, you know, do whatever you feel like. Just don't rush through it. So after putting my hair in some sections, I take out a small section at the bottom, a subsection of the first section. I brush it out with my dimming brush and then using the chase method, I'm just going to chase the brush with my flat iron. And I do this slowly just as everything before. And you just want to run that down the length of your hair at one time. I don't do multiple passes because I value my curl pattern and I ain't got time to get heat damage and indent my journey. So, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And I pretty much do that throughout my whole head. I do use bigger sections in some parts, but I try to stick with small sections. Don't ever use a section that is uh, wider than the length of your flat iron because you won't get a smooth press and you'll end up having to run over it multiple times. And then when I get towards the front of my hair, you don't see this, but I use my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum to uh, smooth out the section before I begin to flat iron it. I did that to every section. I just, I don't know how it didn't get filmed, but 
yeah, I do that. And uh, I use really small sections when I give it the front of my head because this is what everybody sees. So it's kind of important to use smaller sections that aren't freaking huge. <laughs> it's always important, but especially in the front. So I use really small sections and I go slow as mentioned before. So I'll put this in real time for you guys so you can see how slowly I actually run through the section and you can get a very clear view of the way I flatter my hair. So I am back and my hair is obviously straight. Um, it's not bone straight. I never get my hair bone straight because I don't want to turn the temperature up that high. But this is what I'm working with. Very much so satisfied with this. So I'm just gonna scoot back so you guys can see the length of it. And I am in love with it. And I'm gonna try to make this straight hair last for one month. So this week starts um, today. So yeah, the flat iron that I used was the Babyless Pro Nano Titanium. This one, I think it's um, 1 1 fourth inch. Yeah, and it has the titanium plates. And um, I don't like it as much as I like my last Babyliss flat iron, but I do like it a lot. My last one, I ended up giving that one to my mom because she wanted it and she's my mom. So of course I gave it to her. And I tried to go buy uh, another one, but they don't actually make that one anymore. So stuck with this one, but it did a pretty good job. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is I can flat iron my hair on 375 on the other one and it will come out the way I like it. But I tried to flat iron my hair with three, at 375 with this one and it didn't get straight enough, so I had to bump it up to 410. So I wasn't really too happy about that, but I'm sure that my hair will be fine. So a whole four weeks later, this is my hair. My roots are grown out, my ends are raggedy, and it's just time for this to go. But I am proud of myself for lasting four whole weeks with straight hair. I did some styles in between just to stretch it, but it's long overdue to be washed. So like I said, my roots are outgrown and wavy, and the ends of my hair are looking a mess. A mess. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is use some olive oil and VO5 conditioner to mix, and this is going to act as a poo-poo for me, and it's going to give my hair um, some barriers so that it doesn't go into shock when I go to wash it. <laughs> So I just mix that together in my hair dyeing bowl and I use a comb to stir it up because I too, I'm too lazy to wash spoons yet, judge me. And I just slather that all on. Um, there's no method to my madness, I kind of just put it all on there. Hey guys, so I just uh, finished rinsing out my deep conditioner, so my hair is washed and deep conditioned, and this is what my naked texture looks like. As you guys can see, my curls came back perfectly. Um, there is no heat damage whatsoever, and I also trimmed my ends, so those are looking pretty fresh as well. But yeah, there's no damage, and my hair feels great. So what I'm going to do now is just get ready to style it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my from go from curly hair to straight hair back to curly hair. 
again video and I thought it was important to show you guys the entire process not just one step out of the entire process so yeah this is it um and I'll see you guys in my next one the Shana J Show, huh? Shana J Show. 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 Sh